What's up guys, it's TJ, AKA Fishing with Yak Pack, and I'm here today in another random parking lot. I got my boy fishing with Norm with What's me. Up? You guys know the deal, it's gonna be linked down in the description below. We've got a, a very wild idea, right? So I was out on the lake with Trey a couple weeks ago, or a couple days ago, I should say, before I wrecked the truck. And uh, well, we'll get, to, <laughs> we'll get to that in a second, okay? The reason we're doing this is because we filmed the video for Norm yesterday, went out fishing, I actually caught a stud, I caught like a seven pounder, I doubled up with Devin. He caught a six and I caught a seven. Oh. <laughs> My God. That's six all day. We obviously have the lead right now. Hey, can you learn how to fish so we can take cool pictures? You take the front. Oh, um, dude, is, oh. Your, is yours in the water? Oh yeah, my. Is. is that your lure? Yeah. Oh, dude, it's a bit, it's actually a good one. Oh, he, oh, oh holy cow. God. Holy cow, yak pack. No way. <laughs> No way! Oh my god! <laughs> Are you serious? Dude, that's bigger than this one. Oh my gosh, Yakback! What just happened? Oh yeah, you're just longer, you're just bigger. Dang, dude, let's go! Dang it. But uh it, it hurt my hand a lot. Like my hand got pretty jacked up bad in, in uh in the wreck, so it's very hard for me to fish right now. I'd say like another week, like just give it another week and I'll be out back on the water. But uh, I decided, I was like, why not do something crazy like this? So what we have here is called a plink board, a plinko board. Let's see, you never know where it's gonna go either. We're gonna put four stores. Down at the bottom down here, we're gonna put four stores because there's four slots, right? We'll do Bass Pro, uh, Walmart, Academy, Dick's Sporting Goods. We're also going to redrop the little thing in there for the amount of money that we have to spend wherever it lands on. Uh, the budget for per that tackle shop that we go to or whatever. So. I'll let you go first, but before we get started, I'd like to give a huge shout out to today's video sponsor, Skillshare. We'll talk more about that here in just a minute, but uh, let's get to writing these names down. All right, guys, we had to hop in the truck really quick because as you can see on the ground, it uh, it dumped down rain on us for a solid like five minutes, and now it's all gone. Welcome to Florida. But we've got our board set up right here. Let's, let's see what we're working with. We've got Academy, Bass Pro, Walmart, and Dick's Sporting Goods. Norm, you're up. Feel free to, uh, which one do you want it to land on? Academy, Bass Pro, or Walmart? Because Dick's Sporting Goods is far away. Oh, it is 20 minutes on the other side of town. Yeah. You're right. <laughs> so anywhere, anywhere close. Yep. And we're at Bass Pro Shelf. Please land on Bass Pro because we're in the Bass Pro. At least if one of us can land on Bass Pro. I know, right? Guys. I know, right? We said to drive all we we come here to drive somewhere else. All the way. You ready? Ready. Good catch. Thanks. Take two. Oh, let's yes! go! Yes, let's go. Bass Pro Shelf. Let's go. Okay. That's what I want. And I know. so then, so are you gonna go now and yes. then I do the budget and yep. then you do the budget? Exactly, yep. All right, so I cannot land on Bass Pro because he landed on Bass Pro. So yeah. it has to either, if it lands on Bass Pro, I'll just basically spin the wheel again and keep going. So I kind of like how you threw it. Your technique there was really good. So we're gonna give her a little toss. That was, too <laughs> that was slightly too hard. I went to the gym this morning, guys, and I was, you know, I just got a real pump and just throw these things pretty far. All right, here we go. Mm. All right, we're gonna drop this in there because uh, clearly Norm is better than me at that. I want it to land on I wouldn't mind going to Academy, honestly. <laughs> Looks like we're making a 20 minute drop. <laughs> I guess. <laughs> so now that I've got Big Sporting Goods, Norm has Bass Pro, we're gonna go ahead and uh, I'm gonna rewrite on here uh, the amount of money. So now the stores, doesn't matter what store it lands on, the amount of money is what matters the most. So pick a price, Norm. $10. $10, I like that. Uh, true budget fishing. For like 25 bucks, you can go have you a really good day of fishing. Do 50. It just it just makes it just makes sense, you know. Like 10, it. 25, 50. I like it. Ten thousand dollars. <laughs> All right, let's make this. Um, let's swing for the fences here. Let's do something wild. 250. Really? Yep. Like two dollars and fifty cents or two hundred and fifty dollars. Two hundred and fifty dollars. Oh man. That is exactly what we'll do. So like I said. It doesn't count whatever store it lands on, doesn't matter. Norm, you're up first. Whatever you land on is your budget for this video, and I got you. I'll pay for it. I feel like I gotta put it in on this side. There's no way it's going from here all the way over there. Or if you put, oh yeah, because you kind of do yeah. want a $250 budget. Yeah. yeah, it's not my money, you know? <laughs> that makes sense. Tackle shopping spree? Yeah. Maybe I'll be nice and I'll put it one over, and it might have the odds of going to 10, but it might also go to 250. All right, here, do it, put it, drop it, look this way, don't look. Go. No way. You're it not gonna, like you're not gonna went, believe it. It sounded like it went right. 
you're not going. <laughs> oh no! Twenty five dollars at Bass Pro. It'll get you. I think I'm, I'm almost positive twenty five dollars in Bass Pro will get us what we need to have a success, or what we would need to have a successful day out yeah, on no, the water. Yeah, no, hundred percent. So my question is, are you shooting for like? Low numbers because it's your money, or are you shooting for the 250 because well, you want to go to tackle shopping spree? Either way, honestly, I, it don't it don't matter. It do, shoot or shoot. It don't shoot matter. or shoot. It don't matter. I, I, I still can't do it. Fifty. Seventy-five dollar total. So Walmart or no? Um, where am I going? Dicks. I'm going to yeah, Dicks. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. So Dicks Sporting Goods, fifty dollar budget. Bass Pro, twenty five dollar budget. We're already inside. Well, not inside. We're outside. We're out here at Bass Pro right now. So Norm, let's go ahead and run in here. We'll talk more about Skillshare. So Skillshare is an online learning community with literally thousands of classes for uh, anybody. Literally anybody. I mean it when I say it. Whether you work a nine to five, whether you're an entrepreneur, if you're in school, college, whatever, Skillshare is for you. Skillshare is made specifically for learning. So there's no ad breaks uh, while, you're, while you're in class learning. I'm the type of person that when I see an opportunity, I wanna jump on that and I wanna learn as much as I possibly can, especially about YouTube. One of the brand new classes Skillshare has to offer that I'm gonna take revolves specifically around that and it's called YouTube Success. That class specifically is taught by the one and only so, Marquez, Marquez Brownlee, Brownlee MKBHD. MKBHD. He is an awesome dude, super good creator, uh, probably one of the best on YouTube. So th the guy knows what he's talking about. In that specific class, you'll learn to shoot, film, and edit all the stuff to put together an actual YouTube video. I know I get comments from you guys all the time asking me that or telling me that you want to start a channel. One of the top tier guys on YouTube is going to personally teach you how to do that. The first 1,000 subscribers that click the link down in the description are going to get a free trial premium membership. So that way you can explore and unlock your true potential and your true creativity. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are here now in Bass Pro Shop. We've got a wild appearance from Mr. Hunter right here. Where's he at? There he is. There he is. And we've got Norm. Okay, now, Norm, you're up. All right, Yakpack, so I know your favorite is Blue Baby. That's your favorite color. <laughs> so, you know, I like green pumpkin purple. That's kind of like my color, I guess. Yes. But I know you're the Blue Baby guy, right? You know what I'm I saying? That, right? I know <laughs> yeah. one of your favorites is the Bandito Box. So we'll just get you a... Uh, some blue baby bandito box. Let's go. So that'll be. Look at that. That is. So we have like nineteen dollars left. Perfect. With our budget. So that's lure number one. Perfect. All right. Cool. We need a basket. We're probably gonna need a basket. Let me find us a basket. Oh, perfect. There we go. Yes. Perfect. I kind of want to get a different type of lure. Like for each lure that I get, bandito bugs go on the bottom on a Texas rig. So I'm thinking what would be super cool is to get like a moving bait. My favorite moving bait of all time is a lipless crankbait. You so already know. <laughs> you already. You already know the deal. And this one right here, the silver and black, I mean, almost every lake, at least around here, has shad in it, and that's a perfect representation of a shad. It's loud and noisy, too, so those bass can find it. It stands out from the normal shad. So, yeah, $6.49 and then $5.99. So we're about halfway through the budget, if we're including tax. Yeah. So can pick a couple more lures up. We knew this was going to happen. Yeah. Bro, though. We were expecting Yeah, it. yeah. I mean, it's, it's pricey here, but it they do have it the is. biggest selection. True. So. Very true. That is true. Lure number two, rattle trap. Jeez. Those are 10 bucks. <laughs> Oof. Well, summertime, top water lures. The walking bait, we caught a, uh, or Devin caught like a four pounder yep. on yesterday. Yeah. Um, that so was I, the craziest situation, by the way, guys. Just, yeah. He's going to have it on his channel. Just trust me. It's, it's insane. <laughs> yeah. Wild. Um, I think he's actually got, dude, $25. Hold up. That's a whole budget. Um, I wish you still had that bright yellow one I gave you. I wish so I did. sick. They might have it at Dick's Sporting Goods when okay, we go. Because that's where you got it from, right? Yeah, but yeah. The, you got it at one of the big ones. Mine's yeah. like a smaller one. Yeah. So. so I like this one. It's just like a sexy shot color, silver. So Perfect. I mean, looks like all the bait fish. How much so, is that? Seven bucks? That is Round it up. Seven ninety nine, eight dollars. Eight we got, bucks. We had eight of six. So you got about 14, five bucks left? And then, yeah, we got like five bucks left. Cool. So last lure, I already know what it's going to be. Uh oh. So we were looking for Mondo worms. They don't have them in Bass Pro Shops. That's what we've been catching like the 30 pound bags on is the Mondo worm with a worm rattle inside of it. Ooh. Uh, but a, a close second would be the Slim Shake. I actually like the Slim Shake for catching more numbers, but the Mondo worm for like size. So let me, let me just, I don't want to stop you for too long. You put a rattle in a Mondo worm. Yeah. We're calling it the Norm Rig, by the way. It's like my new, my new little Yo. thing. Yeah. When my hand gets, when I, my I hand gets better, we're doing that. I promise you, with it silent out there deep, because we're fishing like 30 foot of water, yeah. they're not finding the worm. We put a worm rattle in it, and dude, we're out there with like eight other boats. Nobody was catching anything next to us, and we caught two 10 pounders. I think we've caught a, a nine to eight, 
three sevens, five sixes in like the last week and a half. I'll have to take you out there if yes, they want to see that. Please. If you want to do like yeah. some big bass yeah, I would stuff. love to see some we, big bass. We figured bass. out the bite out there, and the bite is a June bug mondo worm with a worm rattle in it, and we're calling it the Norm Rig now. So we got a runner. I love the slim shake, Whoa. especially for pond fishing. Like the slim shake is, yes. go to you can fish a weightless. Yeah, and you can fish it on a way to Texas rig. So kind of like a good multi-purpose lure for you guys to uh, to, to try out. So. Bro, I'm gonna tell you one thing right now. And Matt Kendrick, if you're watching, I'm sorry. Blue Baby is the 100% best color that Guggen Baits makes. Why do you say sorry to Kendrick? Is his favorite he, color? I don't like know. I don't else? know. But he's gonna be like, no, it's it's something else. I oh, feel yeah, like yeah, he's yeah. not. Cause I don't know. I don't think any of the other guys really use Blue Baby. Like I know Parrot did. Yeah. But boy, we'd be killing it on Blue Baby though. <laughs> Anyways, Baby. that's your uh, $25 yeah. in tackle. Yep, I'm happy with that. We got something to cover every single water column. Yes. We got basically. Like two of my three favorite like soft plastic Guggen baits, which is a Bandito bug and a Slim Shake. My other one being the Mondo Worm, and then oh, I like the Trench Shock too. And yeah, I just like all of them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I guess. All right, we've got our stuff right here. Uh, the pool pond looks really cool. We're gonna go to the register, go ahead and check out. Uh, and if you've stayed tuned this far into the video, congratulations because you are now entered to win every single thing that Norm and I buy today. So seventy-five dollars worth of bait and tackle. The only thing you have to do is be subscribed to myself and Norm. Drop that comment down below and let me know that you have subscribed to both Norm and myself. We're here in Dick's Sporting Goods now, ladies and gentlemen. So uh, I've got a $75 budget. I think what I want to do is stick with uh, fishing lures. I want to stick with fishing lures because we're, I'm going to assume whoever's watching this has, uh, no matter what it is, a rod and reel to go fishing with. You're here to see the actual lures and why I would use those lures. So, and when my hand gets better, we'll do some fishing because it is, it's toast right now. But anyways, <laughs> all right, first up on the list, I like how Norm did it. I like how you did it, Norm. I like how you did, you went bottom up to the top and yeah. you kind of explained a little bit. All right, so that's what we'll do. I would grab bandito bugs, but he already grabbed those. So we don't need more bandito bugs. That's my all time favorite bait right now. I tend to, it takes a lot to get me to change what my favorite bait is, but the yeah. bandito bug did it quick. I was just with Rob the other day. Um, that video, you guys should have already seen that by now. I stopped by to say what's up and hang out with Lunkers for a little bit. And he was telling me that, and I'm gonna start doing this, flipping thick, thick grass with lunker logs. I, for some reason, the man knows more about fishing than I do. I just know that the way he explained to me how these fall through grass versus a uh, bandito bug, it just made so much sense to me and I can't really re-explain it. Does that make sense to you? Yes. Okay, yeah, so lunker logs. I would definitely use those weighted or weightless. If you went weightless, you'd get the most action out of it and you could hop it on the bottom of the water. You could swim it in the middle water of the water column. And uh, like, of course, Norm behind the camera, I've seen Norm catch like a seven pounder just burning a Senko on top of the water. So there's <laughs> that. There's, you got all three yeah. possibilities. So uh, we're, gonna, we're gonna hold on to this because we're gonna get these. It's a good color too, it's the green pumpkin purple. Wow, dude, you wouldn't mind. Your dicks is kind of small. Yeah, no, it's not really. Well, I mean, there's another aisle like that way. Oh, is it? That has got some stuff. Oh, I thought that was real and stuff. Oh, oh, actually, it might it might be. Uh, or no, it's all saltwater stuff. Terminal and saltwater. Maybe is there stuff on this aisle? Dang, it actually smaller than I thought it was. Yeah. Wow. Oh well. Well, I mean, this is a here's a a good example of something else that I would use. It's this is be six ninety nine plus fourteen ninety nine. This is kind of swinging for the fences here. Now you guys have heard me talk about this before and the Guggen contender before. Whenever you're in the mood, or whenever you're throwing a, uh, a you know, a lipless crankbait, a rattle trap, uh, chatterbait, clickbait, whatever, put it down, grab you one of these, and throw it. Uh, it's just trust me. It's gonna, you, who knows? You may catch something on the first cast. It may be giant, but for the most part, big fish are gonna eat this right here. So you may go all day without getting a bite, and then the last ten minutes of the day you get a bite. But it could be your PB. So this is definitely gonna be a scoop. I like that color too. I don't think they have another. They're like rainbow trout, but yeah. we don't have any rainbow trout around and here. And I was fixing to make a perfect yeah. point. I don't want to over confuse the people watching, but uh, I live in South Florida. Norm lives in North Florida. We're full Florida boys. Just call it what it is. But um, we don't have rainbow trout in Florida. Yeah. But the bass get very mad when they see rainbow trout lures because they're like, yo, what are you and why are you in my house? <laughs> so they eat you. So I've caught, I caught a stud on a rainbow trout, um, a nine inch rainbow trout. For real? Like a glob, but yeah, an absolute <laughs> tank. And it was just like, there's no way. That's... That reminds me, we gotta go big, uh, like big swim bait fishing at, uh, please, you, you know the spot, please, you know the spot. <laughs> please, I wanna go so bad. I'm gonna do it, I'm just gonna do it. I've been seeing, every time I come in dicks, I see these, why not? I don't even know, the, I don't even know. I've never, well, I, I'm, I've never used them. I see yeah. them every time I come into a dick sport and goes, I don't know the brand. I, no, oh, it says Lunkers, beware. So I guess, Rob, if you're watching, beware. <laughs> they're yeah, coming they're out you. for you. <laughs> Yeah, that's a good color though. I do. I mess with that. 
Should we go with, they're both eight bucks a piece. Should we go with the small? Sheesh. What do you think works better in Tallahassee? I'm sorry, right what would work better around? It depends city? on what you want to do. Because the small ones, you get more. And with the small ones, we could like throw them on an A-Rig or something. But the bigger ones, you could throw like by themselves and catch like a big fish. And you could spend all day trying to do it, so. I kind of want to catch a big fish, so key. I kind of want to catch a big one. So we'll go with the big one. All right. Knock that hole. Okay. Be kind of strong. Knock this whole shelf over. All right, so that's eight. We've Did you know that Big Sporting Goods made line? By the way, I just saw that and had no clue. For oh, yeah, $3.99, that 100% is snapping. <laughs> There's no shot. Dude, let me know in the comments if me and Norm should actually try this. <laughs> like, actually put that to the test. $3.99? No, nah, there's, there's no shot I'm fishing with that. We're losing our PB on that. Where's the heaviest one they have? 15. Okay, so they have 15 for $3.99, and it's a 300-yard spool. Yeesh. It worked a shot. Worked. That's too I said, cheap. Look, That's I said too I much savings. I said I wasn't gonna get line. I'm getting line. I want to try this stuff out. We were at 20. We had 55 left. This is four dollars. These were eight dollars. It's 12. 25. I had 55 minus 12. I don't know how much money I got left. That would be 43 if it was 55 minus 12. So 43 dollars. Yeah. Wow. I actually can get a lot. Okay. You could put it all back and just buy a mother load box. <laughs> hey, those, that, those things come with a lot of good stuff in. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. I need to make a video with the red box. It's coming soon to a uh, YouTube channel, TV, phone screen near you. The mystery tackle boxes are on sale. So you get a lot of lures for cheap. Interesting. Maybe. Interesting. And whoever wins it Gets could have box. like a surprise that's a, like opening. That's good. Look at you. So they have them two for 35. So they're like two something dollars off like each. Okay, so I've only ever... Okay, so, or do we get a big one for 30 and then try to find some other stuff for 15? Because we have $43 left. Or, yeah. We could do that. Yeah, so this yeah. would be, okay. And then we could even open it outside maybe so that everybody can see what they could win. I'm down with that. Maybe. 98, 78, or 99. Dude, I just opened one of these two and I don't know which one I got. Was it good? It was good. Uh, I bet it was. It was I don't want to choose the wrong one though. All right, we're going 99 because it's closest to the I, I feel like I did 99. Okay, all right, so that's 30 bucks right here. We'll open this when we get outside to see uh, everything that comes in this because I haven't opened this. You just opened one on your channel, right? Yeah, and okay. I think I did 99, so I almost want to do like 78 or okay. something. Yeah, we'll do 78 then. That's what we'll do. We'll definitely go over on taxes, but we're not including taxes. This is, uh, I mean, you could go out or with just what we have here before we even open this box. You could go out yeah. and have an awesome day on the water. So I got five bucks left. I can short cruise. Why not? Why not? There we go. Chatter bait. Now we have every column in the water covered uh, yep. to a T. We're going to make our way outside, open this box up because I'm very excited to see what comes in this and then uh, get everything prepped and ready to give away to you guys. So we'll see you guys outside in like two seconds. We're going to open this box. I'm sorry, but if you win, it's everything's coming with it. I promise. Everything's going to come with it. I just want to see what's in this box. I haven't seen it. Norm didn't open this box. He opened a different number. All right, it comes standard box in a box. You guys know the deal. It's like my mom wrapping Christmas presents. Box in a box. I'm gonna stand on this side just so I can. My body will block the wind, maybe. This man is cutting open his box with a fishing lure. I know, right? It'd be kind of windy out here. It'd, it'd be crazy it's, windy. Well, we're like four days away from hurricane season. Yeah. yeah. Welcome to Florida. Okay. Hello. I do. Okay, it's definitely not the box I got, which is good. I've used those. Those are good. They're for stand up. They got the little bottom things on them to say like stand up like shaky heads like slim, slim shakes yeah they'll stand up in the water it looks so cool okay a bait ball spinner rig I, you know i'm not gonna lie i think in south florida i could probably get something to destroy this because it's gold yeah definitely i think it'll be cool have you used one of these before no and uh i've i, I know i was on the boat when lojo was using one and he hated it so <laughs> i know lojo was screaming yeah, mad yeah too. he was big mad Ooh, that is a top water i believe that is very interesting. I don't think I've ever seen that before. Obviously, I know who Live Target is, but I don't know. Yeah. What is Hollow Body Shiner. Yeah, so it would be a topwater shiner. Yep. Okay, cool. Cool sticker. Catchco got some dope stickers. Uh, killed it in a tournament the other day with Trey on the smart baits because of the change in colors. Oh, yeah, yeah. It work? Yeah, it's yeah. crazy how that works. Good lords, I like them. You've got some hooks in here, the little thing of how much it, everything costs, and the last thing, Cabin Creek. That's a good all-around color to use in any water yeah. clarity, I feel like. It's uh I think this color would be called pumpkin, not green pumpkin, if I'm if I'm correct. Either that or natural, maybe. Yeah. Yeah, good color. Good color, good box. I mean, 
what was that thirty dollar box? You definitely got more than thirty dollars worth of stuff in here. I think this thing alone is like eighteen dollars. <laughs> yeah, some crazy yeah. man. So, and you never know, dude. You never know. It, it might look goofy, but you could smash. It's a miniature A rig, is all. Yeah. It is. You could smash your PB on this thing and not even realize it. But whoever wins that box, or whoever wins all this stuff, is gonna have uh, probably not gonna have to go tackle shopping for a while. We just bought seventy five dollars worth of tackle, so that should last a little bit. But anyways thank you guys for watching i uh, apologize that i can't fish in this video my hand like i said is still jacked up i hate making excuses and i should probably put some dbab on it you probably don't know what dbab is unless you're over 18. uh that's, i don't even know what that is so. it's don't be a bitch. thanks for watching guys uh, the fishing videos are going to be back it's i've literally when you guys see this one i will have only posted two non-fishing videos before i'm fishing but uh yeah anyways hands jacked up it should be better in I'll probably just a week fish or for so. you in your videos that we could just you do that me i'll do all the fishing i could we could i'm so down for that norm's got <laughs> nor a hey, channel takeover just t channel takeover for the next just, week you, you just saw 50 percent of adsense there you go yeah and um there you go. Go. i'll do it there we go perfect sounds good i love you guys thanks again for watching we'll catch y'all the next venture peace